One thing you may be asked to do at some stage as a Moodle administrator or uh, even as a course creator for Moodle is to export a course as a backup file. Now to do that in Moodle 4.0 it's a little bit different than 3. whatever, 1.1 or 3.6, 3.11. All we have to do is go into the course, select more and what we're looking for is course reuse or course reuse. We select that and we get the options to import, backup, restore, copy or reset. Now here's a little hint for you. You can copy a course from here as well, which is really cool. You create a course template or you create a course, call that a template. And then every time you need to go and create a new course, you use course copy from your template and you have everything already there. How you would normally set up a course, which we use all the time and is one of the biggest time savers absolutely ever in Moodle. Should talk about that later in a full video. We're talking about backing up. We may come to the stage where everything is ready. We'd love to make a copy of it and keep that in case there's any other changes that destroy things later. So we need to make a backup. So we choose backup. When we choose backup, we're given all of these options. And the first most important one that you should really do is to remove the tick that says include enrolled users. So unless you're backing up the course with actual students in it, which you can do as well, you can back up a course with all the students course data and all their information. If you're just backing up the course as part of the development process, then you don't need to have the include enrolled users. It's better not to. Then other than that, you can actually leave everything exactly how it is. You can select next and it will confirm all of the pages. So there's all of our assignments there, our quiz, our uploads, uh, our other tasks. There's our glossary. There's that page on Empire Between. Check that out. And all of our other topics that we've got there. So we can just go next. It will give us a file name. By default, it will say backup, Moodle, the course, a course number. So that's the ID number for this course. And it will also put on an extra number there that tells us the date and time that this was created. And the file name is actually called MBZ, which is like a zip file, uh, but it's a compressed version of everything that makes up this course and all the content, images, uh, all of the setup for all of your activities, everything all gets stored in there. We just go down to perform backup. It'll do the backup after it's finished and has been successful, which is what you hope it does. Select continue. And you can now see that we have a private backup area where this backup stored on that day at that time can be downloaded. So I can just click download and I now have a copy of that stored ready for me if I need to restore that course at any time later. And I will show you in another video how to go about the process of restoring a course.